Hello and welcome to Cornbrook Contracting. My name is Jamie. And uh, yeah, as you can see here, uh, as Tom gets out of the way, uh, we have taken uh, we have taken into our hands or been given uh, by the nice guys at Hardy a, uh, a uh, Rubicon 9000 sprayer of theirs to try out. This is mm. a beast of a machine. This is, if I'm not mistaken, um, three Thomas's high is the it, official unit of scale. It is. It's it's absolutely crazy. This piece of kit. Um, so they've they've given it to us. We've got a we've got a contract with uh, one of our clients uh, that this is going to be perfect for. So uh, I'm going to go and take that down there in uh, in a minute. I mean, <laughs> you, you, I, can, I can walk under this, and it doesn't. This is just incredible. I think I think we could things. we could park our truck under this. Oh, quite possible. Quite um, possible. But uh, yeah, this is this is this is a heck of a piece of kit, and I'm really really looking forward to trying it out. Um, I'm going to uh, give you guys a quick walk around of it first. Uh, introduce you to uh, to this sprayer, uh, and then we're going to pop down, uh, and we're going to go and do the uh, the contract that we have. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Um, I'm so impressed with this. I can't get over the size of it. Do you know how wide it is? It's, like, it's, in terms of its brain width? It's, uh, I think it's, I think it's something like 48 and a half meters <sighs> that this sprays at. It's, it's absolutely massive. And these wheels as well. These wheels are incredible. This is, so, this, the width of this wheel uh, I was ch I was checking it out that width that is forty eight centimeters wide for that and it and you look at it and it doesn't seem it but I take a look at that forty eight centimeters wide that is as wide as the the front tire on this uh, on this T six only it's attached to a better machine I mean, <laughs> I have to put that in there uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's it's a mad piece of kit this, and uh, I'm looking forward to trying it out. So uh, I have lots of other little bits of facts and bits and pieces for everybody while I'm using it, but I think I should stop dilly dallying around here and maybe go and actually do some work for one of our clients. Mm, really? I think you should get out of here and uh, good luck with 48 meters width of spraying. Yeah, uh, this, is, this, is gonna me, be, but, uh... this is this is going to be this is going to be an interesting one to uh, to keep an eye on the edges on. So well, uh, I'm gonna go and stand by the driveway just to make sure you get out without uh, anyone sneaking up around the side of the shed, and then you can get on. Okay, I will. Uh, I'll see you in a bit. Right, so we are inside the spread. This is a uh, nice cockpit here. Uh, let's uh, start her up, uh, and you can see it's quite detailed in here. I need to, uh, yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of stuff to, to follow on here. Uh, we need to get our beacons on. There we go. There goes the tray. So there is, uh, Tom seeing us out onto the road, nice and clear. So not a lot of visibility from this cab, but, uh, still, uh, wow. It's still not a lot of visibility because of the booms and everything around it but you can still see an awful lot which is a, a, you know a little bit of a contradiction but it's there's a lot of blind spots but they don't really matter because it's all fairly thin and uh, and you don't get to see a lot and and I mean you can see here the view coming down over this hill this is this is one of the things I love about uh, being in the foothills of the Alps here uh, it is some absolutely beautiful scenery. Really, really stunning. Although I think it would be a little bit scarier coming down this road in winter when uh, when the snow falls. Right, so we'll head down to the field. Right, we're coming down to the bottom now and the field we're after... I think is over this way. Don't want to get caught on the train tracks. 
Uh, I think it's I think it's this one right in front of us here. Just there. So I'm looking for the, my route into it at the moment. Should be able to get in at this top corner, actually. Yeah, here we go. So I'm going to turn in here. And then we're going to unfold this massive, massive sprayer. So, right, let's get this unfolded. So, we're going to have to reverse up while we're uh, doing this because you'll see our wheels. Um, I'm just going to jump out quickly. And you can see our wheels are currently in this position. Still got my indicator on. Uh, so, I'm going to unfold it. And we have to reverse up while we're doing this because you see the wheels move out. There we go. So out go the booms, and we'll uh, we'll take a look outside while this is doing this. So you can see the wheels have gone right out now, and that's why we had to reverse up. And then the width of these booms. So this here, that is the tip, and it looks like it's that is so far away. So that is, well, that is 24, 24 meters roughly to the middle of that. And it is just incredible. Uh, the tank on this, uh, the fuel tank on this holds 317 gallons, which is not the tank I meant to be talking about. Oh, there we go. Now we're going to need to lift the boom. Let's lift the boom. There we go. Out of there. bring this across get ourselves into position so yeah this is uh, this is a massive massive piece of kit so we are gonna uh, we've got a nice bit of positioning in the middle here we've got a marker we're gonna turn this on and uh, yeah away we go So this is, uh, has been flying around the field. We're just finishing off our first uh, first pass, and uh, or our, our headland pass, uh, and it is uh, yeah, it's done an amazing job. The wheels are fitting so nicely uh, between the rows. Uh, it's fantastic. Uh, I want to turn off that there because we want to line ourselves up for our second run there we go uh, and we should have this finished in no time it's uh it's a really cracking piece of kit this absolutely uh, it goes it goes like the clappers it really does i mean you can see we're going at a really decent speed we want to keep up a good speed on here we're not looking to uh, we're not looking to absolutely soak the crops with this uh, we're what we're trying to do is give it a light spray. It doesn't take an awful lot uh, of fertilizer. So how's it going over there, Jamie? Uh, it's going well, thank you very much. This thing is a beautiful piece of kit. I haven't wrapped those 48 meter booms around any trees or anything, I hope. Fortunately, no trees down here. <laughs> um, but uh, you did catch me mid-monologue. I was... Uh, I was explaining how uh, we don't want to soak the crops in uh, in fertilizer. How it's actually mostly <clears throat> what we spray being water um, with a little bit of chemical in, and uh, and we end up you know Absolutely. just sort of misting the crop and uh, and going yeah, with it sure. like that. Well, there you go. Everyone's learning on the same day as watching the monster sprayer. Exactly. But uh, it goes really fast, this. If I'm right in thinking the field you've gone to, it's not going to take you all that long with um, such a huge machine. No, I reckon I probably only got one more pass. Good lord. Oh, speaking of passes and widths, uh, I'm trying to, I've got a contact to try and get some uh, GPS fitters back into our vehicles. So uh, we had issues with the, the domes. We couldn't bring them over from back home so uh, we're going to be getting GPS hopefully in the next couple of weeks or... fantastic 
Yeah, it's. Uh, I heard it. I heard it wasn't quite in, uh, compatible with the uh, the system that's uh, that's used around these parts. No, it just wasn't. It was. I don't. Know, it would say that it had a connection, but something wasn't quite the right. Um, but yeah, I've spoken to a few people, got a few prices, so all being well, we'll get that figured out sooner rather than. Excellent. Well, I think I've finished this field. Are you heading back up now, or are you um, are you going to be a little bit off? Because I'm about to head away to a another demonstration. Uh, I am going to head up to the yard. I'm going to head back up to the yard now, uh, and uh, and and de uh, debrief on this. I think. So uh, I might Where see you up there in a minute. Yeah, I'll I'll hang around for you, uh, and I'll have a look at it again before I leave. I need to get off the field uh, while we're doing this. Obviously, need the wheel. The wheels are going to pull in, so we want to be moving forward with that. There we go. There we are. So that's all locked in place. Uh, we're heading back. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's worked well. I'm I'm impressed with this Hardy. Uh, it's a good sprayer. Goes at a, a decent pace. Uh, field like this, it makes really short work of, uh, which is uh, fantastic. Uh, it is, uh, yeah, it is. It is quite an impressive piece of kit. This. There we go. So we are going to head back up to the main farm. Uh, back up to our yard. Sorry. So winding our way back up. There's a nice little forestry area sort of off to the side there. Right, we're approaching back to our yard now. And uh, turn in here. See if Jamie's still about. Ah, he's uh, he's been out with the uh, cultivator by the looks of things. Right, so there we go. Uh, cracking piece of kit, this. Really pleased. Uh, we may may get hold of one of these again because this is fantastic. Hey there. That is uh, that is a magnificent piece of kit. That it's just like a spaceship. It's crazy. It is, and it made such short work of that field. I mean, it was ridiculously quick. I can't get over these booms. The more I look at them, this they're just so solid and huge. Each individual one of them. It's uh, yeah. It's it's just um, it's just a huge machine. It just. We would, if we, if we could ever afford one of these, we'd make short work of so many fields. Oh god, yeah. I think we could just turn into a field, unfold the booms, and turn around, and it'll be done. Yep, most so most of our jobs, I think. I think this might be quite. Uh, yeah. This is probably too big for us, to be honest. But it's, uh, yeah, it's a great piece of kit, and uh, and I, uh, I thanks to uh, the guys who um, who uh, lent it to us and let us have a go with it. Um, Absolutely. Well, I'm going to leave you to just kind of say your final piece on it. I think yep. I'm going to go away and I've got a little bit of a demonstration of my own to do. I should keep it a secret, but uh, ah. very intrigued um, with our possible quest, quest for a third tractor. So uh, let's watch this space. Excellent. And, uh, so, uh, and have a look at what so I will just say to everybody, once you watch my video, uh, keep an eye out uh, here for... Um, for Thomas's video, which will be out, uh, well, if you're watching this when it's released, be out tomorrow. Uh, otherwise, Absolutely. if it's, it's later, check it out uh, on Simulation for the Nations channel. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap up now, so uh, I will catch you later. Alright, have fun and uh, enjoy the last of the Hardy here. You too. Uh, so there we have it. It's a uh, amazing piece of kit. This uh, really, really nice. Uh, I'm uh, I'm so pleased that I got to have a play with it, even if it was only for a short while. Um, 
But uh, yeah, I don't really have much more to say other than wow. So uh, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Cornbrook Contracting, please subscribe to Virtual Farmer and Simulation for the Nation. And we will see you next time. Goodbye.